don't have to tell you. Shut up! You are talking to, to you. Not for me. Shut up! The truth hurts, sis, but it's a fact. The fact is, I am three years older than both of you, which makes me wiser. I'll slap you. Stop talking. Look, after that, I am the man of the house. Since when? Who said that? I make my own rules. Really? This is Africa, sis. Yeah, man, rule. That was dead. This is now. Woman, can you just stop? Stop it. Even you two. Even me, how? This man thing is getting into your head. Exactly. And you watch it. Exactly. I thought you were my ally. Ally? That I'm your twin doesn't mean I should support you when you are wrong. Exactly. Get sense. What's wrong in trying to be the man of the house? I'll slap you if you say that again, no. I'm praying, you pull are praying. <laughs> eh? <laughs> now, all of you, line up. <laughs> line up. You come here. <laughs> Look at this woman very carefully. I hope you all know that she needs all the rest she can get this weekend. <laughs> right? Yes, yes dad. dad. And that you all will be at your best behavior. Right? Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Well, talk to him about that. Mm -hmm. Why me? Uh, young man, you are now in charge. Did you hear him? Really, Dad. He just confirmed it! Uh, uh, being in charge does not mean showing off and shooting off your mouth. Being in charge means taking responsibility for their well-being mm -hmm. and making sure peace reigns. Mm. Do you understand what that means? I don't think he knows that. Ruth, be careful. Yes, Dad, I know. Good. So, no arguments, no bickering until I return. Do you? Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Good. I'll miss you, Dad. My Ruthie, my pumpkin. I'll miss you too. And I'll miss you, my darling. Mm. I hope your eyes are closed. Mm. Ah, see this man. Yeah, look at this one. Bring this thing up from the window. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Remember the necklace promised me. Uh, yes, I have. So I'm gonna get it. Oh, also, Daddy, uh, mm? can I please drive you to the airport? Nope. But I can. I'm sure you can, my dear. But until you are 18 and you have a license, only then can you be allowed to drive me to the airport. For now, just be happy roaming around this estate, okay? <laughs> Are you my darling monitor? Hmm? You know you're my monitor. Mm -hmm. hmm? Any one of them that misbehaves, when I come back, report them to me, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you too. Young man, uh, put that inside here. Monitor. <laughs> you are now the man of the house. Okay. The gate man. Okay? You open the gate. No friends entering this house. Is that clear? Show that. Gate man. Front man. That's it. All right. What? Messenger. Uh, what's with this name calling? Uh -huh. Shabi, you said you sent Rebecca three years before you. And me, I now sent you six hours before me. See this one, Joker. 
Вот, дай звучит. Hey baby, what's up? I'm cool. I just want to make sure you are coming for Negi's Sweet Sixteen birthday bash. Ah, live. I won't miss it for anything. And besides, all the mouth she's been making. So what did you tell your parents? Nothing. I mean, my dad is going on his usual weekend um, business trip. My mom is sick, so she's on these meds that literally makes her sleep like hell. And then our gates man resigned last week, so call me a lucky girl. <laughs> Wow, cool. What about your brother? That one. Once he eats his dinner, he just goes to his room to watch football. Unfortunately, Wendy can't make it. Why? Because of that savvy savvy sister charge he has Don't mind her. How are you going to come? Are you driving? Uh, I wish. I can't. How are you going? Greg is taking me. Maybe we'll just stop by yours and pick you. That would be great. What time? Well, I'll be a bit late. Let's say 9 to 10 p.m. At most 9.30. Perfect. I will be. <laughs> by the way, what are you wearing? Really? On top of my head, I'm Abby. Babe, call me back, Joe. Let's talk about that one. <laughs> Are you done eating? Yes. Are thank you okay? You. It was delicious. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Has your sister taken her bath? Yes, she has. Okay. Uh, please make sure you go around the house. Check the doors. Make sure they are all locked. Mm? And double check on the gate. Eh? I'm not sure your brother locked it. I don't trust him. <laughs> I've already done that. Also. And also, daddy called to make sure you've eaten dinner and taken your medication. That man... He keeps acting like I'm a baby. And you know his baby. <laughs> Please, eh, make sure you wash them mm, before you go to bed. Okay. Mm. I will. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you, darling. You're welcome. Mm. Pumpkin. Mommy, mm. I'm sleeping with you tonight. Oh. <laughs> what happened to your room? Mind your business. Mm. Leave her alone. Mm? If she wants to stay with me, that's fine. Mm. Whatever. <laughs> She's just jealous. <laughs> We'll have a girl's night out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> where are you going? Wait, let's just small. No. So why do you come to my room or yeah, go? Go. If you won't just with me. <laughs>
Hello, babe. I'm outside now. Where are you? Hurry, please. This road is really lonely. Hello, ticket. Who are you? Why are you scared? Hey, come on, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it. Pick it. No. No. Hey, I, I kill you myself. Hey, don't play games. Open the door. Rebecca is not picking her calls. Picking. But she called to say she was outside. She might probably be, have been busted. Please, let's get out of here. Just like that. And who are you, Mister? Runs in the blood. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Put it off. Put it off. Hey, let's go see the woman of the house. No, let's go. I don't need to see our mother. Sorry. Shut up. Sorry, Mom. Yeah, she's sorry. You know why? Because she let me into this house. I caught her sneaking out for a party. Becca! Becca! Sorry. Thank 
thank you for bringing her home, sir. Keep your stupid thank you for your husband and your son. He was busy enjoying himself with this. There's a lot to remember this night. Please, my mom is, is sick. Please. Oh, okay, sir, please. I'm, thank you for bringing my daughter back. And uh, as for my son, I'll, I'll take it from here. Please, you can leave now. Mommy, has he gone? Smart girl. Jesus. <laughs> Switch your phone off. Please, sir. D don't hurt us, please. Now listen carefully, mother hen. I need you to move your cheeks down to the living room. May any one of you make any silly move, I'll put a bullet in your brains. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Please don't hurt my children, please. Good, then do as I say. Shoo, shoo. Move. Yes, sir. I said move. Sorry, sir. Move. Yes, sir. Go. Shoo, shoo. Hey, don't, don't try anything stupid. Keep going. Go. Hey, hey, hey. Don't think you can run. Do you be fast? You think I have all night? Don't even try to walk. No. Move it. Go, go. Come on. Sit, sit, all of you. Sit down. Sit. Hey, hey, sit down. Sit. 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 Hey, hey, you. Hey, you. Come on, sit down. You stupid. Come on, sit down. I am not a thief! I am not a thief! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm sorry for calling you once, please! What do you want? I'll start by telling you guys a short story. Very short one. Seventeenth of August, six years ago. How old were you six years ago? Um, I was ten. Ten. My treasure would be one by next month. Back to the story. Six years ago, I... I traveled to South Africa. I went for a course. And I left my wife and kids at home. My son, Zion, he... He enjoys watching cartoon. So does his sister, Treasure. Lovely kids. So on, on that night, they were watching cartoon. Of course, there was no light, so they decided to use generator. And it was raining. It was raining, and my housemaid insisted on offing the generator so that the rain would not spoil the gen. But Treasure refused. She wanted to watch her cartoon. You know, kids. They always have their way. My maid, she, she had no choice. I mean, she's just a maid, right? So she decided to bring the generator closer to the living room so, so that they can keep watching the cartoon. And, uh, you know, 
I'm trying to tell this story the, the best way I remember it, the best way I believe it happened. Yes. Yes, we will build our own rocket using this and whatever else we can find. Grab everything, the hit the shotguns, take apart the cars. Who reads the bag? Let's go. It seems it wants to rain. No, I have to go and turn off the generator. No, Auntie, please don't put off the generator. Let me finish with my cartoon, please. But the rain will spoil the generator no, if please. I don't turn it off. Okay. Let me just go and bring it down to the corridor, okay? Okay. I won't turn it off. Come in here. Okay. They died killed by the generator's fume. Was your husband on the seventeenth of August six years ago? What's the whereabout of my husband got to do with anything? Everything. I, to do. I tell you, everything. Sir, please. Sir, we are sorry for your loss. Please. Can you just go? Please, Ruben. Please, Jesus. Please. Do you want to act the hero? No, no. no. Sit I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. My wife. My wife, she lied. She she was not in any church. She lied. Church? Yes. She she said she was in a church, but I know she was not in any church. Do you know where she was? Mm -hmm. I tell you. I tell you. She was in a hotel. With your husband! Alexandra Odembe, born on the 15th of August, 
those information on social media, please. Yes, it's the wrong house. Sir, sir, she's right, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. My husband is a responsible family. I'm going to have to understand what you're saying. You were playing the truth. You ain't the dark as well. I hate you for that. I hate you for being blinded with your stupid emotions. I hate you. going to happen to all of us. Hmm? No more silly mistakes. No more being a hero. Am I clear? Your husband was with my wife the night my children died. Stop lying against my husband. As we speak, they are in La France Hotel. Liar! My husband is too decent for this rubbish lifestyle you are painting. He's in a butcher. You are a fool! Your husband is busy fornicating with my wife, fumbling themselves. Should I continue? Stop, please, stop, stop. Please, can we discuss this away from the children? You seem not to understand why I'm here, woman. I am here to do to you what your husband did to me. No, me. Only you to be. You to be. You to be. 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 Go ahead and pee, little girl. Go ahead and pee. Yeah, pee. Anywhere, in every, everywhere, just pee. Go ahead and pee. Please, what do you want? <laughs> now I see. It's clear why your husband could comfortably cheat on you. Because you are, you are dumb and stupid. What would you have me do? You are a clueless wife who believes anything and everything the husband says. Are you blaming me for being a good wife? A good wife? Who couldn't tell that the husband is cheating on her for the past six years? My husband is a good man. Say that again and I'll blow your brains all over this place. <laughs> Well, tonight, Karma has caught up with him. Why are you blaming me for his sin? For six years, your husband was sleeping with my wife for six years. Even when my children died because of their infidelity, they continued. Why did they not stop? Why did he stop? I see the alcohol has a way of waking you up. You could have confronted your wife. You should have stopped the madness. <laughs> the madness. What would that have done? 
would it have undone what they did? Would it have brought my kids back? <laughs> Please stop meeting me, I don't know. I don't know. Over the years, I watched your husband every weekend take my wife to the same hotel. Even takes her on vacation sometimes. I still do not believe you. My husband is a decent, responsible man. What is wrong with you? Husband, he was wearing a brown kaftan with, with gold buttons. You want evidence? Go ahead and look. Hmm? This could have been photoshopped. What is it? What is wrong with you? you? If you ask me any silly question, you get to blow your brains off. You cannot. This one's still here. Scroll to the left. There she is. The she devil herself. Jules? You know her? She's. She's. She's his company's chairman's personal assistant. <laughs> what? <laughs> he fooled you. You are an idiot. She is nobody's personal assistant. She is my wife. Scroll <laughs> to the left. Come on. Yeah. That's us on our wedding day. Mm-hmm. Again. Those were our kids. Alex. Oh, God. Yeah. My wife. Is nobody's personal assistant. She has a boutique. Fine Tins Boutique. You know her boutique? He, he, he buys me clothes from there when he goes to Abuja. Sorry to disappoint you. My wife's boutique is here in Lagos. Oh God. 
You said you have health issues. What makes you think they are not the ones poisoning you to kill you slowly? Come on, think about it. How long have they been on it? Hmm? For years now, huh? What makes you think they're not trying to take you out of the picture? Stop this! Just stop! Okay. I'll give you time to digest it all in. <laughs> ah! Oh! Ha! Ah! Choose, choose you, Dr. Obio! Ha! Ah! I will punish you! Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh Ha! Shh! You are in trouble! You are in trouble! Really? Mm. <laughs> I said, get up. Did you not hear me? Get up! Take off your clothes. What? You heard me. I said, take off those clothes. What do you think I want to do? Huh? What do you think I want to do? I just want to see what is under those clothes that will make your husband to go after my wife. What is it that is not uninteresting? Take off those clothes! Please don't do this. I beg you in the name of God. You are wasting my time. You Please don't. Take off. Ticket. Where are you? Don't play with me, Ticket. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Ticket.
Now you're pissing me off now, ticket. Hey. Okay. You want to play this game with me? I did not kill him. I did not kill him. God, please, please, please let the Lord deal with my husband and your wife. Please, let the, the Lord, Lord handle their case. The Lord? Will the Lord bring back my kids? <laughs> yeah.
They killed my children and they moved out. Please, please call an ambulance. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Please. Alex, we come back to this house and there will be no one to tell the story of what happened here tonight. Sorry, uh, uh, three, three, three oh one.
Hello? Receptionist. Okay. Did you see her? No. Who is she? I don't know. Has she gone out there? Yes. Who is that? Service. You don't have anything. Yeah. Rebecca. She's my daughter. She's my daughter. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. No problem. Rebecca. Why? Why, Dad? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry won't bring them back. Reuben, Ruth. What are you talking about? Bring them back. He came. Now they're dead. Who came? Her husband. Becky, Becky, please. Becky, I'm here. Your dad is here, Dad. Please. Who did this to you? Tell me what happened to Ruben, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Becky. Alex, baby. It's been two months now and you haven't spoken a word. I know the world has condemned us, but we still have each other. You know what? Farah left me some money. We could sell your cars and even your house, and then we will locate to where no one knows our history and start afresh. What do you think? Alex. Alex. Dad. 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 Won your son, though. He's really getting on my nerves. Okay, guys. Uh, debate time is over. Daddy needs to get to the airport before nightfall. See, if you try me, eh? If you try me, guys, stop it! Guys. <laughs> Dad! Dad! Dad!
Rebecca! Rebecca! Yes, Dad? Hey, Dad. What's up? Oh, Dad! Can I drive you to the airport? Which are you more excited about? Taking me to the airport? Or attending this sweet 16 bash you intend sneaking off to later on tonight? It's okay, my darling. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Hmm? My pumpkin. Ruben, see me in your room now. Dad, what's happened? Where's the Playboy magazine you have hidden away? What? You heard me. Go and bring it out. Dad. If I slap you! I'm sorry, Dad. Ruben is gradually becoming a bully, you know. <laughs> Why do you look like you just saw a ghost? I... It's just... Um... How are you now? Better. The doctor said I should take the sedative this weekend and just rest, so I'll be fine. You miss your flight. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here to take care of you. Uh, you <laughs> miss your business trip to take care of me. <laughs> Good job. The kids and I will be fine. That must be Jules calling to see if you've left. Sometimes I think that uh, apart from being the chairman's PA, her only other job is to keep tabs on you. <laughs> Don't mind her. Come to think of it, is she even married? I realize I don't actually know anything about her. I think so.
Jules. I'll not be coming in this weekend. Yes, that's what I said. Did you just... What? Don't you see the parental issues I have out there? <laughs> uh. This man, you never cease to amaze me. Um, speaking of the kids, they have worn me out. I am tired. I'm dirty. I feel so sticky. I want to have a shower. But unfortunately, ugh, I can't reach my back. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Don't even go there. Th th that's why you, I'm you, No, I'm, no, I'm uh, not falling for on, that. The doctor said I should rest. I know. <laughs> this one will give you therapeutic water test. Rest. Water therapy. Sir, you're trouble, uh, come, come. Is this the therapy you have in mind for me now? Hey, are you serious? You aren't traveling again? Of course. I'm dead serious. Family comes first from here on. 